Our Rutbar is an Iraqi town in western Al-Anbar province. The population is approximately 22,000. It occupies a strategic location on the Amman Baghdad Road and the Mosul Haifa oil pipeline. Considered a wet spot, it receives 114.3 mm of rain annually, and is located on a high plateau. History during the British administration, Rutbar Wells, as it was then known, was a stopover for Imperial Airways on flights from Britain to India and the Gulf region. Aircraft were routed Cairo, Gaza, Rutbar Wells, Baghdad. It was also a water stop on the overland drive from Baghdad to Damascus. Travelers who stopped lodged in a fort. 16 kilometers south of Rutbar, the famous aircraft Iva Stork, a winner of the McRobertson Air Race, a DC-2 type from the KLM, crashed there on its first flight after the McRobertson Air Race in December 1934, on its way to the Dutch East Indies. There were seven people dead, including Dominique Willem Beretti, a Dutch media magnate. Anglo-Iraqi Wall During the Anglo-Iraqi War in 1941 forces loyal to Rashid Ali took control of the fort on 2 May 1941. As a response bombs were dropped by RAF Blenheim v bombers from NO. 203 Squadron RAF on and around the fort. The fort was retaken by Arab Legion forces with support from NO. 2 Armored Car Company RAF after the fort defenders left overnight on 10 May. Persian Gulf War Due to Rubber's strategic location, the town has played a role in later conflicts between the United States and Iraq. During the Persian Gulf War of 1991 it was reportedly a Scud launching location. Operation Iraqi Freedom After the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the base was occupied by the Army's 3D Armored Cavalry Regiment and was known as Fob Buzz. An army captain was charged and court-martialed for staging mock executions of Iraqi prisoners. In 2004, Marines from Regimental Combat Team 7 relieved the army soldiers and took control of the town, resolving to engage the populace more proactively. By July 2004, Camp Korean Village, a Marine logistical support base, was established nearby. The base served as a regional airfield, convoy rest stop, shock trauma hospital and headquarters of the local Marine garrison. The base is named after the historical lineage of the Marine Corps 7th Marine Regiment who fought during the Korean War. On January 26, 2005, a Marine CH-53E Super Stallion helicopter crashed outside of town, killing 30 Marines and one Navy corpsman. This was the single deadliest day for American forces in the Iraq conflict. The cause of the crash was a severe windstorm that had come upon him unexpectedly. By March 2006, the city was being guarded by elements of the 2nd Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion and an Iraqi rifle company from the 3D Brigade, 7th Infantry Division, Iraqi Army, U.S., and Iraqi forces had built a 7-foot high and 20-foot wide berm in order to restrict access into the city from all but three guarded vehicle checkpoints. This was done to restrict weapons and explosives smuggling into the city and force insurgent elements to hide weapons caches in the open desert, as well as reduce the number of roadside bombs inside the populated areas. In July 2006, increased violence and lawlessness in Baghdad forced the transfer of the 4-14 Cavalry Squadron U.S. Army from the cities of Rawa and Anna in the northern Anbar province to Baghdad in order to augment security there. The gap in forces was replaced, initially, with personnel and resources from 3rd Lar in Rutbar. In September 2006, Rutbar was once again handed over to 2nd Lar by 3rd Lar. In early 2007, the Rutbar government progressed in the transition to providing its own security. The town's efforts included recruiting approximately 200 men to send to an Iraqi police training academy to increase counterinsurgency practices. In March 2009 the Marines transferred control of Camp Korean Village over to CCO, 
2 to 142 Infantry 56th, IBCT 36th Infantry Division which is a Texas Army National Guard unit. Control was then turned over to CCO. 186th INF Oregon Army National Guard. The camp was handed over to the Iraqi Army on May 1, 2010. ISIL controlled the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant or ISIL took control of several Anbar province towns in 2014 and on of June 2014 a member of the local council told the New York Times that around 50 vehicles full of militants and weapons came from our Iran Valley and after sporadic clashes with police they took control over the central town. Then they left a group of them to secure the town and then headed toward the border. On 24 June a Syrian Air Force raid on Rub to assist the Iraqi army during the 2014 northern Iraq offensive killed at least 50 ISIS militants. It has been estimated that anti-ISIL coalition forces have conducted around 50 airstrike missions on and around the town. Geography Rub is 70 miles from both the Iraq-Jordan border and the Iraq-Saudi Arabia border.